Hi everyone, it's Katrina from PCSE. I'd like to just take a few minutes to um, give you a quick tour of submitting a GOSH 3 on PCSE Online. So let's go straight to the screen. So here we are, we've logged into PCSE Online and we've gone straight from the ophthalmic homepage to make a claim. This user that we've logged in as is um, an optometrist, so a contractor signatory um, in the practice as well. Um, and we can see how they can move through the claim. So GOS3, create GOS3 voucher. Uh, the first thing we need to do is to complete the details um, of the patient. So this patient that's coming along um, and requires a voucher First name, second name. If we enter the postcode, then we've got an easy lookup. We can find the address for the patient. Um, and then we also need the date of birth. Oh. And we're going to save next to take us to the next page. So here we are, we've got our test patient, date of birth, and now we're going to into the prescription. So they become a little bit short sighted. We're going to give them minus 2.5 right eye, um, minus 2 left eye with a plus 1 sill, and the axis of 10. It's a voucher A, so very straightforward. This particular patient doesn't need any tents or any other supplements. So the performer is ready to sign the declaration to say that is the prescription. And because I'm going to go straight through to dispense this patient, then I'm going to create the GOS3 claim. So the patient's going ahead with the glasses today. And because of that, then we're going to complete the eligibility section today. If they're coming back to choose glasses later, or indeed using the voucher elsewhere, then important to remember the eligibility um, has to be as um, at the point the glasses are ordered. So this section is completed when the patient's ready to order the glasses. So we've already um, established they're under 16. We didn't actually see any evidence of that. Um, so we've ticked the relevant box. And because it's a child, it's the parent that's going to sign for them. So we need the parent's name as usual. But we've got this um, handy tick box that allows us to say they're actually at the same address as the patient. Um, so when they come to sign, we don't need to fill all those address details out again. And we've got the signature, got the QR code um, to allow us to capture the signature. Parent signs, click accept. You get that message to tell you the signature's captured and then you see it appear into the claim. So patient declaration has been completed. Eligibility is recorded. We go on to the next section. Um, so this would be patient coming back to collect the glasses now. So as the supplier, um, we're going to complete the claim section. So we know that we've, um, we're supplying glasses and that they're a distance pair and it's because it's a new prescription. So these details are all mandatory and need to be completed. But what you can see is that the system has um, taken into account what prescription we've, um, we're supplying and what voucher category that is. And it has calculated the voucher value for us. So we don't need to do anything in that section and we don't run the risk of making a mistake putting in the wrong value um, and all the other reasons things might get, uh, vouchers might get returned. So we need to confirm the dates that the um, glasses are being supplied. So if we're supplying these glasses today, then we're going to sign that to say that's when we're supplying them. And then this takes us to the declaration that the patient has to make, or in this case, the parent on their behalf when they come to collect the glasses. So they're collecting a distance pair. Again, it's one of the parents that's collecting 
um, or signing for the collection. And so again, we've got the convenience of the tick box to allow us to click the address and then the patient, or in this case, the patient's parent is going to sign that declaration, capture the signature, and there we go. This claim's ready to submit. We get that confirmation message to say it has been submitted and that's it done. So very quick and easy to do. We've managed to um, get rid of any possibility that the claim is getting rejected. We know that in the next payment run that um, claim will be paid for. Um, straightforward, GOS3, there you have it. If you have any questions about completing the GOS3 or any of the other GOS types via PCSE Online, then just add them to the comments below the video. And also, if you have any other scenarios that you'd like to see a video for, then put that in the comments too. Thank you.